Are you interested in integrating Insightly CRM with the other critical tools that help run your business? I'm Luke Wade, part of the sales engineering team at Insightly. Today, we'll take a quick look at how you can leverage Insightly App Connect, our low-code, no-code integration automation platform with three popular productivity tools. We'll start with Harvest, which is a cloud-based time tracking software suitable for businesses of all sizes. Next, we'll look at Asana, which is a work management platform designed to help teams organize, track, and manage their work. And lastly, we'll wrap things up with QuickBooks Online, which is one of the most popular online accounting tools used to manage income and expenses and track financial health. Let's get started. Today, we are going to take a look at a few examples uh, that speak to how you can utilize Insightly's App Connect to make Insightly the central hub of your business. Um, and specifically, what we're going to do is we are going to convert a one opportunity to a project in Insightly. And we have some App Connect recipes that are going to run in the background. So first off, corresponding projects are going to be created in both Asana and Harvest that are linked back to our newly converted Insightly project. And then we're going to see how a task created in Asana, as well as time tracking entries from Harvest can automatically be synced back with our Insightly project and tracked in Insightly. And then we're going to wrap things up by taking some time tracking entries that are associated with the project that we brought in from Harvest. And we are going to generate a QuickBooks invoice from within Insightly using Insightly's App Connect. So I would, uh, I'd like you to imagine that I am a marketing director at a lean mean marketing machine similar to Elevation 10,000. And we just brought on a big new customer, Warbucks Industries. And you can see here that Roger Mills is my primary contact there. We're looking at a closed one opportunity for $100,000 here for Warbucks Industries. And the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to convert this opportunity to a new project in Insightly. So from the actions menu at the top right, I will go ahead and convert this to a project. And we'll say we won this because of project fit uh, and definitely because of the uh, hard work and long hours of my sales team. So let's go ahead and convert this to a project. We see that we are now looking at this newly created project in Insightly. We have inherited the name from the opportunity. I could have changed that on the previous screen if I wanted to. And we see that Roger Mills is still my primary contact here. You also may notice that uh, there is an integration section on my project layout here. And like everything else in Insightly, uh, these fields, these sections are very customizable. But we have an integration section here that has a lot of information that is going to be filled out uh, via integration through App Connect over the next few minutes here. So by creating this Insightly project, I have automatically created corresponding linked projects in both Asana as well as Harvest. And if I go ahead and refresh my screen here, we can see that we now have project IDs as well as URLs for both of those newly created linked projects. Let's start off in Asana. So I am going to click on this URL here. And that's going to open up the corresponding project in Asana that's linked back to my Insightly project. And what we see here is the project is named Insightly Dash and then the project name from Insightly. So Warbucks Industries, Roger Mills. Currently, this is an empty project. There are no tasks associated with it. So let's go ahead and add one right now. And I will create a new task in Asana. We will call it on-site kickoff. And we want to add this task to our newly created Asana project, which is this Warbucks Industries Roger Mills project. 
And we'll give this a description, say meeting to discuss action plan. And then let's also give this uh, task a due date. So we'll make it due a week from today, next Thursday, August 24th. So I've added a due date. I've given the task a name. It is now assigned to this new project. So I'll go ahead and create that task. And we see that the task appears right here in Asana. If I go to my homepage, we can see that that task also uh, appears right here. So now let's jump back into Insightly and let's take a look at our harvest project that was created in conjunction with that Asana project. So I have the harvest URL here. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And what you'll notice here is I've used the exact same naming convention. So Insightly Dash, and then uh, the name of the Insightly project, Warbucks Industries, Roger Mills. Currently, we have not tracked any time for this project, of course. Um, so what I'd like to do now is add a few uh, time tracking entries for this newly created uh, Warbucks Industries project. So I'm going to navigate to the time tab. And let's say on Monday that my team did three and a half hours of website redesign. So we'll change this. Uh, we'll keep it at marketing here and we'll call this website redesign. And I want to associate this with the new project and the new client that we just created, Warbucks Industries. So I'm going to change that drop down there and save the entry. And then let's add one more uh, time tracking entry here. So let's say that yesterday we had a meeting with the IT team. So I'll go ahead and add one more time tracking entry for this newly created Warbucks Industries project. We'll say that this was billed as project management. We did six hours of collaboration with IT team. And I will go ahead and save that entry. So we created these linked projects in Asana as well as Harvest. We added a new task in Asana. And I've now added two time tracking entries for my uh, Harvest project. So if we go and take a look at my projects here in Harvest, we can see that my new Warbucks Industries project now has six hours of project management and three and a half hours of marketing for a total of nine and a half hours. So let's jump back into Insightly and take a look at what happened here. You may notice that there is a hours completed field here. This is going to be populated. It actually already has been populated by the integrations that I have running in the background with App Connect. So if I go ahead and refresh this project once more, oh, and we'll give this just a moment to run. Um, but what we're going to see is that those uh, the hours associated with this project will be added. Um, what we'll also see is that my Asana task that I created has automatically been pulled into Insightly on the activity tab. We can see that it is categorized as Asana and we've pulled in the name, the description, the due date, which is a week from today. And it's of course related to our Warbucks Industries project. And if I now jump over to the related tab, which presents me with all of the related linked information from other objects, we can see that we have two new time tracking entries here. We have six hours of project management, as well as three and a half hours of marketing. Um, and we've also pulled in rates from Harvest. So those are both billed at $40 an hour. So here we have the subtotal for each line item. If I open either of these up, I just opened up my project management time tracking entry from Harvest. We can see that we have brought in Harvest notes as well. So this project management time tracking entry was for collaboration with the IT team. And of course, it's linked to our Insightly project as well as the Warbucks Industries organization. So if I take a quick look at this organization on the related tab here. 
we will see that we have our new related project at the top here, as well as all previous time tracking entries uh, for this organization. We have some invoices here for QuickBooks Online as well. And that is the last piece of this demo that I wanna walk through that I think is really going to bring things together here. So let's jump back to our project. And you may notice that I have a QuickBooks Online Hours Invoice field here at the top, as well as a QuickBooks Online Amount Invoiced. Both of these are blank because I have not created any QuickBooks Online invoices yet. But let's go ahead and create one right now. And the integration that I have set up with App Connect here is going to create a new invoice. It's going to pull in all of the relevant customer information about Roger Mills and Warbucks Industries for that invoice. And then it's also going to add line items for my time tracking entries associated with this project that we just added in Harvest. So I have a custom button here at the top, QuickBooks Online. This integration could be kicked off in numerous other ways. Let's say that I had a pipeline assigned to this project, and we'll go ahead and add one right here. And we'll say this is our onboarding pipeline. I could kick this integration off by moving to a certain stage in the pipeline. But the way that I have this set up is via custom button. So when I click this QBO button, we can see that my record was successfully sent to the recipe, which means that App Connect is handling all of the hard work on the back end for me here. And we will give that about 10 seconds or so to wrap up. But what we're going to see is we're going to have data that appears here and here, as well as at the top, these are the same fields. So hours invoiced, as well as amount invoiced. And I'll go ahead and refresh. We see that indeed we have now invoiced for nine and a half hours for a total of $380. And on the related tab, we have a new QuickBooks online invoice record for the invoice that I just automatically created via App Connect. This invoice in Insightly is linked to the organization, the converted opportunity, the project, as well as the contact. We have the amount, the status, which of course this invoice is new. However, if this invoice is paid later on, that status can automatically be updated and kick off additional workflows. But I'm going to click on this URL here and let's take a look in QuickBooks Online at the invoice that we just created. So we see here that we have created a new customer if Roger Mills did not already exist in my QuickBooks online system. We have automatically pulled in the relevant uh, geographic information for Warbucks Industries and Roger Mills. Um, the way I have this set up is the due date is 30 days from the invoice created date. So 30 days from right now, September 16th. And if I scroll down here, we can see that we've also pulled in line item information about these time tracking entries. So we have two entries associated with this project, which we created a few minutes ago, six hours of project management at a rate of $40 an hour. And that, uh, that job occurred on the 16th of August yesterday. And the description here pulled in our harvest notes. So that was collaboration with the IT team. And then same for our marketing line item entry here, which occurred on the 14th on Monday for a website redesign. So we have our subtotals here. We have all of our customer information. So this invoice is ready to be sent off to, to Roger Mills. And again, that could, step could be automated as well. But of course, Roger Mills doesn't exist. So that uh, That is an example of how Insightly can be used along with App Connect to really make your CRM the central hub for your business operations. It can bring teams together um, and we can do a lot of, a lot of really cool uh, automated things using App Connect in conjunction with Insightly. 
I want to wrap things up here by just giving a quick look at a few pretty simple uh, dashboard cards that I threw together related to this um, process that we walked through. So I am going to jump to my home page here. You can see that I have a custom dashboard named Elevation 10,000. You can make these, you can share them, you can add existing cards or create your own. But I have added, uh, I believe, four cards here that are related to what we just walked through. So first, we are looking at time tracking by project as well as by type. So we can see that for Warbucks Industries, we have three hours of onboarding. And uh, let me do this. Let's refresh the data here. There we go. Um, so this is our new project on the right, three and a half hours of marketing and six hours of project management. We also have a dashboard with uh, incomplete Asana tasks. And because we automatically pulled in that new Asana task a few minutes ago, we can see that we have that task list, uh, listed here. And then at the bottom, we have two tabular dashboard cards that list all of our unpaid and paid invoices. If you'd like to learn more about how Insightly App Connect can help support and grow your business, visit insightly.com or click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.